اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In this session, I'm going to introduce SPSS. Now, SPSS is a statistical package for social sciences that is used in social sciences primarily for data analysis. Now, let's say, for example, I've collected some data and I want to analyze it using SPSS. Now, what is my first step? Now, the first step is to enter your data in SPSS. Now, before that, you have to define your variables because everything that you collect data on is a variable because the perception will change from person to person or from time to time or from place to place. So when you will open SPSS, you will see something like this. But at the bottom, you will have data view and variable view. So data view will show you your data and variable view will show you all your variables. Now, before we enter the data in this Excel sheet like structure, we have got where we have columns and we have got rows. Now, these rows may signify respondents, years, days or any response at a particular time with respect to a particular respondent. Now, before I enter my data into the data view, I will have to define my variables here in this variable view. Now let's assume I conducted a study and collected data on or using this questionnaire. Now here in this questionnaire what I've got here is I've got my demographic variables age, gender, education, program, university, job rank, tenure all these are demographic variables. And then I've got my construct, latent variable, latent unobserved variable that is observed using these indicators. So each of the latent variable has got some indicators. Now this variable here is unobserved. So I'm not going to enter this because I do not have data pertinent to this variable. What I've got is, I've got these six measures that are helping me measure this construct. So I'm going to enter data on these six items and then use it to show how responsible are the internal stakeholders. Now for each item, the respondents mark from either of these five points where one is strongly disagree and five is strongly agree. Now they cannot choose obviously more than one so it has to be one if they choose let's say one they cannot go and choose on any other option as well so let's say they have chosen these options for these six items that help us measure internal stakeholder responsibilities and i've coded the items in this latent unobserved variable now each indicator is coded here so how do you enter this data in SPSS? Let's say I've got some of them in print, maybe some of them in soft form like this. So how do I enter it? So I'll go back here, click the name, let's say age, gender, education. And then let's assume, let's add university. Now, if you see here, the type is numeric. Now, since it is a statistical package for social sciences and it is statistics, so everything is based on numbers. So we try to put or present everything in the form of numbers. Now, age is already a numerical variable, but gender is not numerical. Gender is male and female. So what we do is we represent male and female by numbers. Education can be numeric in terms of years of education, but it could be bachelor's, master's, PhD or MPhil or MS. In that case, what you need to do is you need to represent each degree by a number. Now, similarly, if I'm collecting data from, let's say, a few known universities, I can represent each university by a number. How to do this? Let's do it for gender. 
If you click here, values, and then these three dots, you will see a dialog box. Click the plus button. Now, this is a newer version of SPSS. Old version may have slightly different format, but it's very easy to do. Let's do value 1. Let's label it as mail. Press enter. Let's do value 2. Label it as female. Press OK. Similarly, if you've got age groups, you can do it like this. Let's say 1. 1 is, let's say, 21 to 30. 2 is 31 to 40. And similarly, you can add other groups as well. For education, you can do, let's say, 1 is masters, 2 is mfil slash ms, 3 is phd. We can add backlist as well as 1 and then obviously 2, 3 and 4. Now, similarly, you can do it for university as well. Now, once you've defined your variables, that is demographic variables, you can add your indicators. How? Just simply add in internal stakeholders responsibilities 1, ISR 2, ISR 3, ISR 4, ISR 5, ISR 6, and then the next one is ethical responsibilities one, so on and so forth. Define all your variables here. Now let me add the values. Obviously they can have five point Likert scale. So one, let's call it strongly disagree. Two, let's call it disagree. Three, call it neutral. Four, call it agree. And five, let's call it strongly agree. Press OK. Now you do not need to do it for all of them. Just copy it and paste it. If it's not pasting like this, you need to go to edit and click paste. It will do. Moving on, if there are missing values or you think that they will be missing values, you can either leave them as is, just empty cells will show missing values or you can represent it by numbers. Let's say I got discrete missing values, minus 99. If a cell has minus 99, this is missing value. You can again copy it and paste it onto other cells. Columns shows the width of the column when you are in the data view. Let's say this education column doesn't seem right. So let's increase the size of it. Let's say, let's make it 12. Here it is, press enter and look at this. Now university same. Let's move to university as well. Go to data view. Now it lock, all looks good. Now alignment is just to show where the data is in the cell on the left, on the right or in the center. Measure. Now this is the scale of measurement. Now age is interval or ratio. So obviously interval because there's no zero. Gender is gender is nominal because there is no order in the genders. Education is ordinal because there is an order and that order obviously may not have equal intervals between different education levels. So, and university is again nominal. Normally our Likert scale is on interval. We put it as or use it as interval. So you can just use the same scale again for all of them. The rule so I'm going to input all these variables. Otherwise, you've got different variables or different variable roles. Target both none, partition, split. So you can split your file or partition your file based on the variables. For now, I'm not going to use it. Now, once you've defined your variables in the variable view, all of them, define them here. For example, I've just done one latent and observed variable. You can do this. These Just use these codes because the variable names cannot have space. Now, again, you can use the whole detail as to have what, what is ISR1. So ISR1 is, just add a label here. Just paste the value 
now just copy now the cop copy the text from here the university encourages to engage in activities that would help in developing knowledge skills and attitude once you copy it you open your SPSS and paste it here now once you have done this now it is done and similarly you can paste the others as well now go to data view and now let's enter the data now i've got let's say one questionnaire in print so when you've got questionnaire in prints make sure you add a number here showing which questionnaire you are entering and that number should correspond to the row number here let's say i've got a questionnaire in print in front of me and the age is 22 the gender is male the education is let's say one university is one as well isr they chose one two one three and these were the responses on each of the indicator so i've entered it so now this is respondent number one so i will mark my questionnaire as one now two three four five six so on and so forth just make sure you mark your questionnaire and enter the data like this so i've got second questionnaire the age is 23 gender is one education one university one and the respondent chose three for the first question four for the second question five for the third question similarly these were the responses let's say i make a mistake i instead of five i enter six here now once you enter all of your data you need to check the first step is to check whether you entered the data in the right manner the one basic step that one should do is go to analyze descriptive statistics and you can go to frequencies and you can do for all these variables here just put it in go to statistics select minimum maximum continue you should do it for these other demographic as well just press ok and let's see so all good all good 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 look at this there is a problem here six but my range was from one to five so there is a problem so how do i find this problem and it is in er1 so go to er1 select er1 go to edit go to find and what number do i need to find i need to find number six find next see it's highlighted now open that questionnaire questionnaire number two get it because you had it in print and see what was er1 er1 for respondent number two was not six but rather it was five now that's the reason i am numbering my questionnaires so this is how you can start spss and enter data in spss now once you enter the data your SPSS file may look something like this here. This is how once the data is entered for all the respondents here. All the respondents. So I've defined my variables and then I've entered my data. I've checked it for the minimum and maximum values. Now there are other ways to assess the data. Obviously if the data is properly entered and if the data has been marked properly by the respondents. We are going to talk about this later as well. Thank you very much.